Hello everyone, welcome to the next episode of Night in the Woods. My name is Lena and if you haven't seen the previous videos, I encourage you to do so so we can follow up with the story. Recently we got caught up in the Halloween Horror Fest where we witnessed somebody kidnapping a child. Is that the murderer from the first episode who just left somebody without an arm? Let's see what happens. Even the morning music team has changed. It's a bit darker and more ominous, I guess. And of course, we're gonna start with our lovely diary. What have we got down there? Okay, so these are like the pictures of the mystery person who kidnapped the child, or at least what we thought. Is that a ghost? Is that a murderer? Is that one of the students who just wanted to uh, leave the town but couldn't? So now he is taking revenge on random people. We don't know. Okay, let's uh, use our computer and chat with our friends. Maybe they will know something. Great, so they has written something. Hey May, thanks very much uh, for your help last night. Sure. Woke up and realized that I completely imposed in a big way. Thank you, I really appreciate it. I'll be at work cleaning up after last night if you want to say hello. Okay, good. We definitely want to see her and Greg and tell everybody about what we saw. And it's really nice that Bay, she's not angry with us anymore. Hey dude, sorry, couldn't hang out last night. Angus says he's sorry too. Band practice today, because I'm in charge, so I say so. Off to work, bye. Okay, so we've got band practice, we've got Bay to see us. Nice. So what shall we do? Let's just... Can we talk to our parents? Oh, new thoughts in the picture, on the family. Hmm. We are looking a bit older, I guess. We are to take like one moment and make it like the official version of us. Yeah, it's kind of weird when you look at some pictures from the past. When you are young and beautiful and then, well, then you stop being young and beautiful and you just beautiful because you always stay awesome, right? I wonder if the new working clock downstairs thinks this clock is scary. Big old thing upstairs. Like you, but different. Huge and spooky. Making weird noises at night. I'm not sure the clocks think, but... Oh, I can't find this thing spooky. It's a piece of granddad. We need more of those. I'm really wondering about what kind of uh, part in May's life played the grandfather. Come say hello, why don't you? Well, we definitely will. So how are you doing to get today, mom? Hey, hon. Hey, mom. You look really tired. Yeah, of course, I just saw somebody kidnapping a child. What do you expect me to feel like and look like? So do you. I also have a splitting headache. Well, the weather seems to agree with you. Grey and drizzly. I could go for that day. Okay. Hey, hon. Yeah? Sorry about yesterday. Me too. I said some stuff, I didn't really mean it. Well, whether you meant it or not, that isn't how we should communicate. I don't want us to stop talking. I just don't want to repeat of a few years ago. I'm really sorry, ma'am, about all of it. Hey, May, are you okay? I'm fine, guess I'm stressed too. I saw some weird stuff last night. Like a ghost kidnapping a child, exactly. Or I think I did. Want to talk about it? Later. I'm still like putting it together. Can we talk about school? Also later. Oh, come on, May. I want to know as well. I'm playing the game for like, I don't know, fifth hour already and I still don't know. Why did you quit? That's unfair. Look at those guys. Day and night. Rain or sunshine, they keep walking. Amazing. Their persistence is really worth admiration. Is Selmer sitting on the stairs? Let's see. Hi Selmer, what's up? How's it going? How was your Halloween? Weird, went to harvest. So some messed up shit that I think was real. Then I had a really bad nightmare. Cool. I stayed in and ate candy and watched TV. Sounds like a pretty good Halloween to me. Halloween episodes were on. Well, 
I was eleven Halloween episode, okay? Whoa. Yep. Want to hear a new poem? Sure, always. Autumn winds. Autumn sins. Okay. Autumn times. Autumn crimes. Huh. What's the autumn crime? Robbing a gas station and blowing it up in November. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, that makes sense. Hey, Miss Jessica. Yeah, Selma? You're gonna break your neck someday. I will make sure to fall right on you. Haha, <laughs> well, I'm a big enough target. Ha, <laughs> I'm bigger than you. We should be covered. <laughs> you too. Leaves, leaves, leaves. Is that a poem? Nope. That's just stating the fact. I can't enter the door the regular way, but I really want to see our neighbor on the rooftop to see the stars. So we have to take the long route as usual with some jumping on the power lines. And here's our trusty tree that never will fail us. And I really enjoy jumping on the power lines. How dangerous is that? But I don't care. So enjoyable, so cute, so just feel alive when you do it. Yes, keep going, keep going. Hey, Mr. Jessica, I'm coming! I'm coming for you! Can I actually jump on the windowsill here? Yeah, should be enough. I'm coming! Hey, Mayborowski! Present! Mmm, smell all the autumn winds. Yeah, hard to miss it. One should not miss such a thing. Talk enough. Want to see some more stars? That's what I came for. I mean, I didn't climb up the rooftops just to say, no, I don't want to. Of course, the lens. That's your own fault at this point, I would say. Why don't you... Why do you take off the, the filter, the lens? If you keep watching the stars, it should be on all the time, shouldn't it? Why do you take it off and then just ask me, do you want to take a look from my telescope? That's just mean. It's some kind of sick, cruel joke. Is that the one? No? Found one! Let's see. Snake. Big snake. Big snake. Yep. Anything else? Big snake emerged from the earth and made war upon the villages. Sounds cool. What villages? You know. Villages. Okay. And as he wrapped himself around them, the villagers saw that they were encircled by the same big snake. And they came together. And together slew the big snake. You learn. Why did big snake attack the people? Do you have sympathy for the big snake? Jesus, no, but I... But can we just keep saying big snake? Big snake. Big snake. Big snake. <laughs> oh, we got the star. Is that the one? Perfect. Star located, Captain. Let us consult the guide. That's a dead bird? No, this is like a wizard or something. Oh, you will like this one. Really? Because they are dead. Oh, I was I was right, dead bird. Oh yeah, I'm into it. <laughs> Gramercy the medium. In life he spoke with the dead. Really? Who knows? But when he died, his own spirit returned and spoke through him. Wait, that's dumb. How so? That is called being alive. <laughs> Just called being I love this one. Not so, his body was dead. So he was like a zombie, but just as smart as before. No, no looking for brains. So like normal, but he smelled bad. Just so. Why did they make him, this guy into a star? I have no idea. I guess it's kind of impressive. Dumb, but impressive. So what's the moral of this one? Moral? Yeah, Israeli star thing like this have some sort of moral. 
Sometimes things are just strange. That's the moral. <laughs> that is our pain for the pair for the day. Pain of I don't know. I, I'm just looking at the story of that guy and reading pain instead of pair. Well, G. Wilkers, Mr. Chesikov. <laughs> Wilkers. Okay, so we did see our share of stars. That was pretty great. Yes, it was. More than a couple of days. Oh, we got new node. We found a new star. Perfect. Sterling, Simon, Big Snake, Gramercy. Oh, we should go to church. And today I talk to the weird lady pastor or something. And should we feed our baby rats maybe? I don't know. Let's go to church first and then we'll see. Or maybe let's see if Rosa is oh my god, there's always like so many things to do here. Let's see if Rosa is there. Yes. Hi. Hey Miss Rosa. Oh hello May. Feeling better? As well as to be expected, I suppose. That's good. Do you want to talk about your grandfather? Yeah. Possible Springs was built on our backs and the backs before us. Damn was they didn't pay the people in real money. Pay in little tokens and bills stamped with the company name. Good at the company store. For company goods. Back in school they showed us some of those. Weird quarters and stuff. Your grandfather remembered his dad experienced it firsthand. Mine both came down. Trying a big fancy car. Night I met your grandfather. A real bastard, that boss. God forgive him. Your grandfather runs out of the dance. I think he was a bit drunk. Or just stupid in some brave way. He shouts, The gods of all bosses. He all of a sudden has a hunting knife from somewhere. And he slashes the boss's tires. Ha <laughs> ha! How? Wow, sorry. I know, I can't read tonight. I don't know what's wrong with me. Picks up a rock, put it through the windshield, then he climbs up. I'm oh, sorry, this part is a bit rude. Holy shit, don't stop! He pees through the windshield hole. This is amazing! Did they catch him? Nah, just me and a few other folks saw it. I threw it over to him and we ran off down the alley, past the a a OK drugstore. Big field, big parking lots nowadays. Stars fat and bright. I guess we were both pretty drunk. One thing led to another. Oh, okay. Wait, when was this? A uh, very long time ago. Was he? So, grandfather's a cheater, huh? Okay. So, what happened with the car? Got towed away. Police couldn't get the witnesses. We weren't snitches about that kind of thing. Damn right. So, like I said, you got troublemaker blood. <laughs> Jeez, I never knew this. I don't think your daddy even knows. I bet not. You gonna tell him? No. Secret keeper like me, eh? I just think it'd be a weird conversation. You may find someday it isn't so strange. I wanted to pass the story along to you. It was one night, one thing he did. In a lifetime of nights and things he did. What do you want to do with that? Is a part of your story now. Well said. I can talk much more for today. I'd like to know more about him. This was crazy. I'll see you, May. Sooner or later. Okay. Bye, Miss Rosa. Bye for now, May Borowski. Should we? No, we are not gonna be stealing some pretzels for rats. Let's just check if somebody's hanging out here. And then we can head back to the church. Oh, they are the children. Hello, fellow teenagers. Hey, uh, kind of weird question, but is anyone missing? What? Like, anyone you know who was out last night and didn't come back? Uh, I don't think so. What's going on? Nothing, I thought I saw something. Okay, um, you should tell us if this is something. Just be careful, okay? Keep an eye out. And let me know if you see anything weird, okay? I mean, you all hang out together constantly. You're safer than anyone else I know. Okay, so we warned the kids. Did a good deed. 
making sure the streets are safe, you know, taking care of the small children. And now we can do just run our errands. Okay, the church. Let's visit Bruce. Let's see if there are the the, the pentagram guys there, maybe. Let's talk to Pastor. Let's visit Mom at work. Okay, let's start with Bruce, maybe. Oh, it's so nice to jump in somebody else's car. No thoughts on the statue today, okay. Bruce, how are you? I mean... Oh... I don't feel right about it. I know, but sometimes the right thing doesn't feel right. I just think it's just wrong to take something when folks don't want you to take it. Well, I feel like God would see this differently. I do at least. Hmm. That's because you're a good person. Hot dog. Spiral. Hot dog and spirals. Bruce, how are you? Can I talk to you a bit more? No. No, can I talk to you? I really want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to your spiral, I want to talk to you. Hey, hey. Hey again. Hey. So I had this really bad dream last night. Me too. I dreamt I was a pizza. And I was afraid someone would slice me. Jeez. Yep. It just makes me sad we don't have a pizza place anymore. Got the order from gotta order it from out by the how we know. Tragic. I had a dream, I was goose flying south. I had to keep up with the other gooses. Geese, I guess. Or it get lost. That's sad. To wear the good dream. What are you talking about? Big meeting coming up. City council. Yep. About... About Bruce here. Wow, that's intense. We'd appreciate your prayers. This is a precisely kind of time where God shows up. Hope so. Me too. Okay, nothing else. Any of children here? No. It's rain for God to just sit like that in the at large in the open. I could get cold and you know sniffles or something. Okay, so let's check out if our mom is at work. Let's talk to her. Then we have to bathe. Then to Greg, I guess. Unless we won't be able to do the bo to do both things. Maybe after we talk to Bay, we'll have to go to rehearsal already. What about Germ? Maybe we should also see if Germ is on the, you know, the far west. That might be a good idea. Hey, mom, what's up? Hey, hey, charge mom. Hey, hey, hidden dollar, <laughs> hidden dollar. Oh, I'll make it in here someday. But come on, seriously, no one is getting up on Sunday. I find very enriching. Your father does too, mostly. But he attends and that's important. And he knows it means a lot to me. Alright, well, guilt, thoroughly tripped. <laughs> you do work for the church. That's not what faith is like, hun. There's more grace than condemnation. Kinda, whatever. Alright, I'm out. See you later, sweetie. Now, there's still this place here, but we can't enter it. I really want to, but... How do I unlock it? How? Okay, let's just enter the main room, the main hall, I don't know how to call it. Let's enter the, the Jesus room, the prayer room. Anyone here? No. Joy, peace, love. Okay, so shall we just see if Germ is germing around somewhere? And I would really would like to have the fast travel button, you know, in this game. I know, it's just like 2D, it's, there's not like too much running around, but still. I don't even remember if I have my pretzel with me. Did they steal one in the previous episode? I don't remember. So, today's my last day. Oh dear, we're gonna miss you. It happened so fast. Let us know how it is. I will. I'll come visit. Can't leave you two to fend for yourselves. Oh dear, what are we gonna do without you? You wanna go see a movie or something? 
Yeah, let me get settled in and we can go on an out outing. And you'll see me whenever you go for groceries. That's true. I ain't going far. Not far at all. Coffee? Cigarette. Coffee, cigarette. Okay. Before we visit Bay, oh, something else on the monument here? War is some bullshit. You hear me, statue? I guess we're drafted. Ah, you died before you got to enjoy the statue they made of you. It's garbage. It's kind of, well, sad but true. You can't make me go to war. I'll go underground. I'll join some sort of group against war and stuff. We'll blow up war stuff and sabotage other war stuff. I'll live in the shadows for decades. No address. Always on the run. Living in a trailer in the desert. <laughs> It'll be awesome. Sure. Sounds like a pretty solid idea. Oh, let's say hi to Angus while we are here. So how was date night? Hmm? You up for band practice in a bit? I guess, weird night. How so? I'll tell you about it later. Not much of a dialogue today. Angus was not smiling, he didn't show the scary face. Whoa! Is someone moving in? Probably something done. I miss you, pizza place. <laughs> not the past abilities. Social Security Administration? Ah! That's gonna be lame. There's no pasta anymore, no pizza. What's the point? Hi Greg, I'm gonna be there in a sec, just looking for Germ. Making sure he's not the one who got kidnapped and murdered violently. Hey you. Hey, you? Working here now? Yep, sucks. But it pays. Question. How do I fit a kitchen there? Barely. What do you do here? Grillman and janitor? I cook and mop? At the same time? Yes. Oh, the safety standards. The... Oh. Yes, why not? Because mops, chemicals and dirt go very well with the food. What do you want the side of to this burger? Dirt? Oh, police. I knew we should have come here, okay, before we talk to him. Is there something else? Hey, what were you doing out here last night? What were you doing here last night? Okay, let's... Let me watch so again. I tried to yesterday, but you wouldn't listen. Someone in a big old coat with someone over their back. Uh-huh. And you chased them down here? Yeah. And I got to the fence and they were up in the woods. Alright, thank you, May. Uh, I knew we were just gonna brush this off. May, there's been no missing person reports. That tends to happen when a kid goes missing from something like Harvest. Hell, I got six calls about kids out too late. There would be a report. I'm reporting this. This right here, this is a report. May, there's no break in the fence. So? So unless someone could jump this thing while carrying a teenager who hasn't been reported as missing? Any theories, May? They could have gone around the fence. I don't know, May. This fence goes out along the parking lots, almost to the trucks. For you to be right behind them and then to be miraculously on the other side of the fence? Ugh. I was running around half the night, getting after teenage bullshit, and people scared of clotheslines and noises. Are you... you ah, are you trying to kick off a horror movie? No one believes the girls of the ghost. Well, I have bad news for you. The cop always dies. I'm sorry, we're talking about a ghost now? It must have gone through the fence. Really, mate? No! Yes, I, I don't know. I'm really tired. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought. No, don't take me home. Don't off. Oh. Will you at least check the woods? May, me and Dan McConnell were up there this morning because of what she said last night. From the fence up to the old mine. We found a couple teenagers on a gross mattress. We saw some worried looking deer and one deer hunter out too early. That can't be. That is it. Okay, I was afraid our aunt is gonna take us home or something. The cop always dies! Can we jump that high? What if we just get some more momentum? Let's try. Running, 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 running faster! 
No, it's a bit too high, okay. Even for me, even though I'm a super cut, but... Hey, Jerm, what's up? What's up, kid? You smell weird. You go to harvest? Nah, over it. Cool. I had kind of weird time. Weird bad time, actually. It's a guaranteed weird bad time, yeah. Are those people from yesterday still here? Don't know. We're not like good friends or anything. Oh yeah. I don't know why I thought you'd know. I was wondering if they ever m met Casey. Out there somewhere. I can ask. I used to ask. I just hate thinking about him out there all by himself. Yeah, oh, Casey's tough. He'll be fine. When you're gonna get out, you gotta get out. Yeah, I guess. Well, see you at the band practice. Real talk, do you actually like watching us play? Yeah, I mean you're not good, but yeah. Not my style. What is your style? Black metal, uh, trash crossover hip hop. I like Witch Dagger, they're kind of metal. Oh yeah, like that doom shit, right? Da 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 Totally. What? You know, one time a guy followed me home, like a guy from the tracks. What? Okay. What did you do? I was like some night back in the summer and out of the corner of my eye I could kind of see this dude take this turn out of the parking lot and start creeping up the hill like 50 feet back but like I didn't want to look right at him Ah, uh, let's go with this one uh. I took a detour through the woods and sat in a tree it was getting dark but like I could see him standing just off the road waiting for me to come down Oh my god. Holy shit. What did you do? After it got dark, I climbed down and got up the hill real quick. Ah. Oh. Yeah, it was a weird bad time. Ah. Oh. I am so upset right now. <laughs> I know, right? See ya. Wait, Jerm, where are you going? Oh, he went. This is how they go there, you know? I can't go behind the stairs, but it's possible. Jerm just went there, and that's the secret place how you can just bypass the, the fence. And, well, I need to talk to our aunt. Cop, please come back. I've got new information. I know where, where they've gone to. I know how they escaped. Please listen to me. Aunt, where are you? Okay, let's see, Bay, before we head to the drag and to the rehearsal, I guess. And nobody's going to listen to ka ka to a girl, so the ghost, because that, yeah, that's what happens. Nobody believes the person, then everybody dies. You're alone today, okay. Hey, bae. Uh, hey, um, thanks again for last night. I owe you one. It's fine. It was fun. My night got like really weird and bad after. How so? Till later, I guess. Still like putting it together. Okay, well, let me know how that goes. I will. I think it's band practice day. Yeah, I'm gonna go hunt Greg. Shouldn't be too difficult. Yeah, I know, he's at the Snack Falcon. I don't know how that guy stays employed. He steals constantly, breaks supplies for fun, and leaves work whenever he wants. Greg plays by his own rules. It feels more like the world played by his rules. Whoa. I don't even know what that means. Still, whoa. Anything else to say? No. Okay, we talked to Bay, so let's go. Greg! Sub dude? Ugh. Oh. Huh? Long night, weird night. What's up? I'll tell you at the bell practice. So mysterious. Cool! What you up to? Just saying hello. Are we gonna head out? Yeah, let's do this. Well, since you can leave wherever you want and whenever you want, why not? Can we talk to Jeremy? Yeah? Back to watch his fiasco again, huh? 
Yep, you're our only fun germ. I'm just here to be entertained. I'm a gentleman of leisure. Nice. Hey dude. You okay? You, you look tired. Ah, uh, I was up all night. They were fixing the roof door and it was super loud. Roof door? Yeah, the door at the top of the stairs that goes out to the roof. Now I can like, I don't know, run from that door down in the lobby up to the roof and be off the side of the building? Maybe not to. But what's to stop random people from doing that too? Dude, it'll be fine. Sorry, I'm just tired. Fair. Ready to go? Yeah, let's do this shit. And the difficult part where I have to actually try playing. That's difficult. And that's the easy part, I like that. Oh, some bad at this. Oh my god, it's gonna be difficult. Whoa, man, that was... I know, pretty bad what it was. I literally did not know this song. Yes, that's, that's kind of the point. Phew, so fast. I just push the button. I'm so tired. I strain my vocal cords feeling. <laughs> Yelling. <laughs> awesome. I'm gonna sound so husky. And anyway, I don't know. I don't even know if there are dreams or not. And this guy who I think was a ghost kidnapped some kid and also I think was in my head after while I was sleeping and anyway yeah I think I need to do something because this is scary well that's not what I was expecting to hear tonight are you okay dude? no we are not okay I'm kinda freaked out it probably wasn't a ghost yeah probably not yeah definitely Ugh. okay fine I'll go figure this out myself oh dude don't be like that you got us. Oh, dude. Let's go together. Okay, fine. So we need to maybe see if there's like some ghosty stuff happening around here, like from a source we can trust, such as... Does the newspaper have like a ghost section? Surely. What? Why is that a dumb question? You know, we could go check the library for books about it. No, they have the local paper and file going back a century. If there's some secret history of kidnapper ghosts, we'll find it there probably. Oh wow, I didn't know they had that. I thought it was just like a broken down old bunch of books. When's the last time you were at the library? We actually have one of the nicer ones around. Oh, how? Rich dude who paid for it way back then. Yeah, they set up a foundation and... Never mind, let's go. Can we read root after? Um, sure. Okay, we'll be back. Woohoo, ghosties. That's the spirit. The library. The library is also, well, it looks like it's in the tunnel as well. Look, jobs. <laughs> We're like, when well, this was painted, it was like, Hey, look out the window. We're all working. Things are great. And now it's like one of the graffiti murals after someone gets shot or hit by a car. 
this mural is really affecting you. I forget that we live in separate realities. Mine's clearly better. Oh, new memory. Okay, just the song. Hello, are there any ghost stories about this town? Can we just browse ourselves? Oh, there's only one shelf? Okay, no. There's more. I can't go there. Okay, let's just ask the librarian first, maybe. And Bay, why are you smoking cigarettes everywhere? You shouldn't be smoking the library. Hey. Closing two hours. Okay, cool. Any idea where the microfish is? Microfish. Microfish. Fish. Third floor. Okay, thanks. Up, up, up. Us. We can ask some more questions. Slow night? Yep. Spooky here all alone. I'd be spooked. Eh. Lars wandering around here somewhere. Some more dialogue lines? No. Okay. So, the third floor, but maybe we can check the others one as well. Do we have a choice where we go? You know, I always just like checking every corner. Oh, we just went directly to the place. Hmm, <laughs> damn it. Larry, are you here? And of course, there's only one computer working. I just really like checking out everything. You know, in case there's some loot to get. Holy crap, what? It's Charity Berity. What's Charity Berity? How do you not know about Charity Berity? I assume this is something from school. The school of being five freaking years old. All right. So this was a thing you liked as a kid? No, I hated Charity Berity. It does look really hateable. It was like, hmm, you were kidding by a cold. I like the cold version. And they were like brainwashing you instead of some cold guy with a wavy dagger and magical mask. That's not okay. Go on. Instead of that, it was this effing pink nightmare. You were scared of it? No, I was bored to death. I was thinking forever about like being kind to others and like I don't know helping an old neighbor and do engine repair. That sounds nice. Charity Berity helps old. Mr. Planko fixed his hoovercraft. Oh, no, that's the worst part. It always rhymed. Charity Berity, Pink Knight Marity. <laughs> Charity Berity, I just don't care it. Jeez, they sure made a lot of these books. I think they're still making them. This one looks pretty old. Charity Berity, Danger Everywhere -ity. That's vague and disconcerting. Could have just kept updating that one book. Something else here? No, nothing else. Can we jump? Nope. And Bay, you really shouldn't be smoking cigarettes, you know, in the library. What if you set fire to something? And why do we have to use this exact computer? Why I cannot turn turn on some other one? Oh, looks like someone left something open on this one. <laughs> How convenient! It's a resume. Bob Targ, born 1967, 50 years old. So let's see. Experience? Mining, construction, well, drilling. I never think about getting a job when I'm old. Faith is not really old. I mean, you should have money then, right? Ideally. It should be like, guaranteed. It should be guaranteed in general. You gonna join my young socialist chatterbox group? Do not join socialists. So, that's it? Where's the information? Where are the papers, books? Seriously? That, huh? So we came here just to see the resume of a random guy and the poster of Charity Parity. Okay. Going up. Oh, so we can't do each floor. So it was just the first floor. Nice. I was afraid they just made only one floor here. Sniff, sniff. Oh, well, it's dusty up here. It's old up here. Sure is. Maybe your ghost is up here? Yep, ghost. Or something. Whatever he was, he walked through a chain like fence. Or flew over it. Or something. While carrying something. Alright, well that's even more impressive. 
So we're gonna go find this guy because he took someone and is like somehow connected to this thing I've been going through and that's not good. That all sounded a lot more badass in my head. It always does. It's okay, it's, it was fine. And again, one computer maybe, one chair. Of course, only one computer here. Let's see if there's like more charity parity. Nope, I can't even... I can't, no. I'm just checking, just in case, you never know. Okay. Alright, there she is. Cool. So, I have no idea how to use it. Really? I can't know how to do everything. I'm sorry, but what expertise have you brought to this thus far? This whole thing was my idea. No, your idea was ghost hunting. My idea is to do at least a tiny bit of research on it. You think it's so stupid? Why are you here? Because you're my friend, you asshole? Oh, that was so endearing. Oh, exactly my fault. Oh. Are we friends, Beatrice? Here, let me get this set up. We'll be here all night if your dumbass is still in charge. Alright, so what are we looking for? I want to steer. No. Move, I'm steering. I don't want to steer. Ah, oh, jeez, May. I'm sorry. Okay, okay, okay. How do we do this? Uh, step one, look at the screen. Step two, move around and look at stuff. Step three, find ghost. Sure. What's right happening on Possum Jump? Two local sweethearts were stolen this past Sunday. Hiding along the wood of the overlook, known as Possum Jump, according to the lovebirds. A figure appeared to walk from the edge of the cliff and turned on the uh, the cliff out in the open air and then disappeared. Forestry workers and experts were unable to locate any evidence of anyone having left from the great height, leaving the exact nature of what they would do so a mystery. A distant hike up in the state forest hills, Possum Jump is famous for its beautiful view of the Echo Reservoir. It also holds historical importance as it hosts the lonely graves of several persons involved in the Possum Massacre. Oh, Possum Massacre! Oh my god, there's like lots, quite a lot of it. Okay, that's the end. Even the last troll will make it run September 4th. Here it goes, the longest employee. Twin club will be meeting on the stacks Wednesday. All mothers of twins of any age are welcome. Okay, let's go down. Strange but true, a tale of teeth. Ongoing series about the weird and forgotten aspects of Deep Hall County. Papa's figure heavily Boston Springs history. The story goes. I'm not feeling like reading it all, so here we go. If you want, just pause the video right now. Take a look, take your time, read as much as you want. I'm just gonna glance over it and not even reading everything out loud. Impost survived his attack, we never named his attackers. Then a few years later, members dug up his grave to retrieve his skull. It was using ceremonies for being performed. Okay. A deep hollow country mourns. Final group of bodies. Explosion. Same. If you want to read. The whole thing, just pause the video right here. Mm -hmm. Lots of dead bodies here and there in the Possum Springs. Oh, here's another one. Ghostly rumors haunt new historical society. Again, same thing, you know the rules, just pause the, pause the video. Sounds of opinion line. Again, pause the video if you want. That's already seen. The strike lumber's on. Underground gases afflict many. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. 
For the past several weeks, residents have been complaining of family members who began hearing voices or seeing things that were not there. One older woman has found, was found having an animated discussion with an empty chair. When pressed, she can't explain that she was talking to her sister, who had passed away some 50 years ago. Two nights ago, the sound of Carson Zimmer ran out of the house and left in the Cooper's Pond one mile up the road. Moments before this, the child had been reading, readying to bed, and according to the other sibling, became increasingly agitated. The last words he uttered were about some sort of song before he dashed out of the house into the night where the watery grave awaited him. This last event persuaded residents to request help from officials to see this relative to St. Louis Lantern, a phenomenon when exposure to specific underground gases leads certain victims to experience waking dreams, auditory hallucinations and the sense of unseen presences. Preliminary tests indicate that the gas is present in the homes and mining officials and official from moving the residents until more tests can be completed. And, okay, so here's my theory. There's this roadworks right next to May's house, so maybe there's some kind of underground gases and that's why she has weird dreams and hallucinations. Maybe that's the thing. And, uh, well, I think this is more, you know, plausible than the ghost story, but we'll see. Or maybe just May has left the college because she has some kind of nervous breakdown and she should be medicated for some mental diseases, we don't know. Okay, Samuel Council has purchased 10 acres of land in the outskirts. Okay, let's go from the top. On the side of the albino grand home. Okay. Albino raccoon. I'm pretty sure that children mentioned the albino raccoon before. Hmm, or maybe that's just my imagination. Okay, that's the end. Look at those, little Joe, at it again. Family the Possum Statue. Strike. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay, so everybody in the mines probably just got inhaled too much gas, they went crazy and they passed a crazy gene to their children maybe. Pie, pie for sale. <laughs> Keep your pies safe during the pleasant weather. <laughs> Several ladies have reported pies from the kitchen disappearing at alarming rates. Even worse, the piggy culprit is living behind on the rubber pipes. I hate rubber, so I understand the guy. Until this criminal is caught to the or the bad weather returns, we remind our housewives to make use of their pie safes indoors or stick to rubber. <laughs> New old store in the town center, the old pickaxe hardware. So that's where Bay works. Mm, not really interesting. And the post massacre, yes. Never mind to strike today. Nine miners are dead, with a dozen more injured. A young brother and sister were also shot dead as they were delivering a package of food to their father and uncle. The photograph of two children aged seven and nine who were shot in the cold blood has circled far outside of the county. The heinous act led to a personal visit from the governor. The boss have agreed to comply with the current safety standards and its honest demands of the miners. Okay, I think we did everything so far. We started here, tragedy. Uh, did I read about the explosion? I'm not sure. Okay. So far, three men have been pulled alive, along with 20 dead. Pfft. Strike. Is that Joe? Something. Okay, I guess I've seen everything I wanted to see. Or have I not? Because I cannot leave the thing. Should I press escape or should I just... Okay, I'm just gonna choose one of the articles that I think it's really interesting and press C on that. This is interesting, but okay. I don't know exactly about the ghost. Oh. 
No ghost to be found here. The way you say ghost sounds like you don't believe me. Okay, let's just check the comments on everything then. This one? No ghost. Okay, then now I have to click on each C. Strike. No ghost here. Ghostly rumors. Hey, hey, hey. Ghost spotted. Historical society? Yeah, I've never been. You didn't go back in school? I think it was when I wasn't in school. Oh, after a solvable incident. Yeah, I mostly just watched TV and did therapy. Well, it's actually a pretty cool old house. It used to be owned by one of the mine owners or something. Railroad, mine, steel mill, something like that. And actually a haunted house. Uh, no. Elementary school kids are there all the time. They have like summer arts and crafts programs. Oh well, still worth checking out. Hmm. No ghost here. What about this one? No ghost here. Strange but true, tale of thief. Oh wow, this is gnarly and awesome. <laughs> oh my god. Possum massacre. No ghost here. Oh, come on, there's some massacre and... No ghost here. Check the strike. The pies. Pie parsing and something. Okay, let's see the local ghost. Little Joe at it again. Oh, look! Scooch so I can see. Graveyard. That's a gimme. I mean, if you're looking for ghost stuff, that's where they make a lot of them. Looks like they saw him in the old section. Oh cool, that's where the grave is. I'm actually interested in that. How could you be not interested? This is like actually like dangerous ghost stuff. I like history. Ghosts are history. History that won't stay history. Haha, <laughs> that's actually pretty good. Raj D. No ghost. Events. And my favorite one, well... Possum jump. Hey, look at this! Hmm, yeah. Looks like possum jump? Let me read it. It's possum jump. Oh yeah, that's back at the state park, right? Yeah. Ever been up there? Nope. Gonna check it out though. Go nuts. Okay, well, that's like three leads. Let's boogie. Let's boogie. Also, is that it? Yeah, I look at everything, I think. Three clues, we got three leads. You're a regular detective. May Borowski and take the ghosts. Alright, alright, let's go. So we got some leads. Can I borrow your car this week? Do you even have a license? I mean, no, regardless, but do you? Nope. No license, no credit cards, don't believe in money. <laughs> Just believe in other people's cars and money. I didn't choose to be born into this society. Okay, well, I have, you know, a job. So I can drive you around to all these spots. I can maybe do the graveyard. I need to go there anyway. Cool. I'll see if Greg wants to do the other two. You know, like... And I probably don't have to say this, but just because something happened in the past doesn't mean it's going to happen again. Hey, nerd. Ever hurry? Ever hear that history repeats? It does. It does the same thing over and over again. So, we've just been in a loop since we are living in the case? Yeah, that's science. Oh my freaking god. I can't jump, I really would like to jump right now. Ahem. What is... Is that Miss Quelsey? Oh wow, haven't seen her since graduation. She was always kind of a badass. School distracted, not fun of that art program at all, but she made it work. She was like some sort of art teacher survivalist. Wow, I never realized. I think they pay her in bits of strings and empty soda cans. Thank you all for coming to the second meeting of the Possum Springs Poetry Society. Do you want to stick around for this? Yeah, sure, Samus is here. Tonight we have new poems from myself and Fisherman Jones and Selma Ann Forrester. I will start us with the one of my own. Yeah, she's from a big town. And how she ended up here? Who knows? Ahem. Letter to my worst student. May, it's for you. 
and my worst student, the subject of my stories, I tell friends back at home. When they ask about life, out here in the sticks, it's you. I worry. At the end of my life, you will be the only one I remember. Why did you key my car? I know. It was you, Brian. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Is that legal? <laughs> what? Talking about deals, about students like that? She didn't make names. Yeah, she did. Okay, no, full names. Next up, Fisherman Jones. Fisherman Jones has a poem for us. Two, two poems, they are short though. Two poems, take it away. Uh, hi folks, thanks. This is called Tunnel Eels. Tunnel Eels, Tunnel Eels, I do not know how it feels to be in darkness all the time, born in muck and raised in slime, but neither do you know paths I've trudged, so it hardly is your place to judge. Okay, that's one one. The next one is shorter. This is called Tunnel Frogs. Oh my god, I love the guy. <laughs> Tunnel Frogs swims in the dark. Must think it would be a lark to be a fisherman like me. But, <laughs> but what do you know, Amphibi? That's it. That's great, thank you. Fisherman Jones. So that's the guy that was fishing in the tunnel, okay? Uh, he definitely talks to actual fish. <laughs> oh, most definitely. Finally, a poem about Selma and Forrester. Yay, Selmers! Thanks, May. You know her? Yes, she's like your neighbor. Oh. She wrote this really funny dorky short poems. I offer something short and funny. This is called There's no reception in Boston Springs. Haha. <laughs> she's not wrong. No reception here. I wave my black phone in the air like a flare, like a prayer, but no reception. I read on the internet, baby face, boy, billionaire. Phone apps sold made more money in one day than my family over 100 generations. More than my whole world ever has. World where house buying jobs became rent paying jobs, became living with family jobs. Boy billionaires. Money is access, access to politicians waiting for us to die. Lit in our water, alcohol and painkillers. Replace my job with an app. Replace my dreams of a house in a yard, with a couch in the basement. The future is yours. For 24-7 entrepreneurs. I just want my paycheck and my own life. I'm on the couch in the basement and there in the house in the yard. Some night I will catch a bus out to the west coast and burn the Silicon City to the ground. Holy shit. Wow, damn. Huh, she ran entrepreneur. Yeah, that was, that was pretty good. I'm not sure if I read it with the right rhythm, but that was a really good line. I don't know what that word means. Thanks, everyone. Is she always like this? No. Wow. Huh. Thanks, everyone. See you in two weeks. Hey, Selmers. What? I left a weird poem. Thanks, I wrote it myself. <laughs> Wait, was the assumption that she didn't write it hers? Nice work, Smellers. I like that nickname. What are you two? Sorry. It's cool. Can we go now? Yeah, we can. That's that's pretty good enough. Okay, thanks for coming. We live here. Right, so, find out anything about your ghost? Yeah, tell them, bae. There were some newspaper clippings that talked about ghosts. Not just any ghost, Little Joe. I don't really remember Little Joe. He's a ghost miner. He died in mysterious circumstances. Wow. I know, right? Mysterious. I thought you were like afraid of ghosts, like filled with the dread and shit. I'm terrified, okay? So it mentioned three different places we can call check out. Uh, I have work and stuff. Yeah, Greg and I also have work. You guys skip out and work all the time. Maybe we can like split this up. Share custody of you and your ghost. What place were you thinking about? Uh, the graveyard. I call that one. It's close and not illegal. Is there an illegal one? Sure is. The historical society. You know, you don't have to, like, break in. People there, like, get paid to show it to you. Anyway. I'm in for the historical society. Awesome. So, what did I get stuck with? Possum jump. 
I know Possum Jump. We used to go there in scouts. Perfect. Okay, I need to like actually get home and do work. This is gonna be awesome. And also, I'm scared to death. I would be too, you know? I would be too. Okay, here we go, and you know. Ta-da, it's Elmer's. Uh, good poet, nice. <laughs> so, if I die, Selmer should write a poem about it. That's so good. We still don't really have much stuff about our mom. Well, we have some meats. You know, drawn next to our dad. Those pages seem to be fulfilled. Greg rules bay. Two songs already. Gregory's pizza scale arm with tattoo. Uh, two stars. There's something we missed. Angus. Germ. Okay. Another one. The pages that are fulfilled. Okay. Everything is bad. That's done. Maybe there's some, uh, we know place around Miracle Rats with Mallard forever. Bandit Queens, there's like page empty, page empty. Another page empty. Okay. Good enough. Hey Dad, what's up? Ah, Yeah, seems like that's going around. The arc. Yippers. So, um, you and Mama had a bit of a fight yesterday, huh? Yeah. I thought you two were getting along. We were. We are, okay. Just a bum. You two always do like, I guess. I got a chill and her smartestness. <laughs> I just hate to see you two on the outs again. And we're fine, we're cool. Might just head up to the bed tonight. Sounds good, kid. Been a long couple days. No watching television together? Come on. Papa, why do you abandon me? I want to watch TV with you. No, he doesn't feel like it, I guess. Well, unfortunately. And what's in this room right here? Oh, we didn't check the bird today. Is there anything else here? Let's just enter, just out of curiosity. Something changed? More tooth in the safe? No. More rats, maybe? Okay, I can't do anything here. I think it was just like one-time activity when just got the tooth and that's it. Good enough, good enough. Okay, let's go to sleep and let's dream something weird. And maybe computer, yeah, of course. Hey, Angus, okay. Let me know when you want to go to the park. I look up a map and it's pretty straight shot to Possum Jump. Nice, great, we never really get a chance to hang out. It'll be fun, I think. Okay, I'm going to sleep. Night, sir. Tips hat. <laughs> oh, Angus is so lovely. Yo, I looked up the historical society on the internet. It's real old, but then the big renovations. Oh, really? I mean, listen, I'm not saying there's a ghost, but old stuff that just got torn up seems like Ghost Central. How so? You're a ghost hanging out in the old house, and then someone puts up in a pool where you died or something? Haunted pools would be actually pretty scary. I'm spooked. I'm going to bed. Hey, let me know when you want to hit the cemetery. I should be around most nights this week. I don't know, okay. Thanks, Bay. Don't thank me too hard. I'm not going there anyway, so it's like right down the road. You're running. You're running at it. Okay, in that case. You are so incredibly welcome and also you better not forget this big favor. That's more like it. I'm falling asleep. Had fun tonight, sorry if I wasn't grouchy, it's just... It's fine. Wait, did you just fall asleep? Lol. LOL. Okay, nice. So now we can fall asleep as well. Can we take a look at the mirror? No. Bedtime? Yes. Let's do the dream. No, the dreams are getting darker and darker.
you know, just dead people floating in the water. And we are being underwater as well. So cozy, so lovely. Oh no, well, okay. Can I jump somewhere far right? Oh, that's that was pretty scary, okay. That was pretty scary jump. I like the fact that, you know, to finish the dream part, you actually you're actually collecting four musicians, just like the, you know, band members. But I don't really like the dead floating people here. Can I jump on trees? Nah, why not? Okay. Let's do this the old fashioned way then. Can I now jump on the trees? No! How am I supposed to get there if I can't jump on trees? Come on. So we have to take the long route, I guess. Can we jump this far? Yes. Hey, weird creature lurking at night, smoking a pipe. Okay. This fish looks familiar, you know, there's this kind of like cartoon for kids with a rainbow fish or something like that. Oh, and there's that people floating in the air, perfect. No, but the fish we saw, I know. If you ever watched this cartoon as a kid, you would recognize it. Just let you know. Or maybe just my weird mind. Okay, so where will be the last musician? Can I get a clue, please? Oh, even more dead people? More and more dead people? It's kind of unsettling. Guess I have to go up. Yeah, may you should really see somebody about those dreams. That's not a very relaxing thing to dream about at night, I guess. I think I'm going the right direction, but I'm not sure. Where do we start it? I must say, I'm always a bit lost. No, I guess we went too far. Can I get a clue, please? I'm not sure where should I go. It was somewhere in the middle of the area, I guess. Because we went up from the very beginning. Right? Okay, let's just drop down a bit. Yes. This is creepy as hell. It gets spookier and spookier, darker and darker. It's in the same cheerful tone that was at the very beginning. 
But okay guys, I uh, think it's enough for this episode. In the next one gonna visit Cemetery Bay maybe, or go with Greg or Angus. We'll decide what will be the order of the things that we're going to do. So I hope you enjoyed this one and if you're interested on how the story continues, who is the murderer, is it a ghost, is it a person, what happens next, make sure you subscribe and keep on watching the next episodes. So thank you for watching again and see you in the next one. Take care, bye bye!